Aries. Come on in, Aries. Come on in. Come on in. Welcome, everybody. I'm the Empress. Happy to have you here if you are new. Go ahead and click that bell to subscribe. You're not going to want to miss out on any future videos at all. Because we get down to the nitty gritty over here. Okay, we, we talked about it. We, we put it out there. All right? So, if you're returning, welcome back, my loves. Y'all been showing major love. Y'all been booking y'all personal readings, getting the clarity that y'all need on the situation and how to move forward. Thank y'all so much. All right, so let's get into it, Aries. Let's see what messages we got for the Aries. What's going on? How does this person feel about the Aries? This is Divine Masculine. I am using the Twin Flame Journey Oracle deck here. So let's get into it. Let's see what's going on. All right, so we got abandoned. This person may be showing showing signs of that they may have. A, let me rewrite it. This person has shown signs of that they will, you know, just pick up and leave. Okay. Um, we got communication. What it is, I feel like what this person, this person could feel like this about you, Aries. They feel like you've been showing signs that you would just pick up and leave at any moment in time. They don't like the way that you are like this free spirit. Like I do what I want. I move how I want. It is what it is type of energy because we got communication. They want to communicate with you, but they don't like the way that you are. Like, you know, a free spirit. They, they feel like this is a cycle. Okay. Now, either this is how you feel about them or this is how they feel about you. But I feel like this is how they feel about you. Okay. So, they feel like you are showing signs of, you know, you will pick up and leave their ass. No communication, none of that. Like, if you don't do right, then you're you're gone. You got free will. What else? How else does this person feel about Aries? How does this divine masculine feel about Aries? Surrender, okay? So they say, look, I surrender, okay? I see them coming towards you. They're getting ready to put in some action and come towards you, okay? What else? Healing and destruction, okay? So they feel like you've been through a lot, okay? With destruction, okay? Something may have fallen apart or this connection has fallen apart before and you've healed from it or you're going through a healing process. Yeah, but they're coming in. They say things are, they want to take a new direction with you. They want to offer you this new beginning, okay? We got offer and fresh start. They want to offer you this new beginning, I feel like ever since you and this person have been in some type of separation, they ain't been doing nothing but getting blocked ever since. Like, nothing works for them. Everything that they try to do, it just seems like it doesn't work. They may have been receiving bad karma. Ascending and barrier, yeah. And see, now they have all these blockages and they feel like it's time for them, it's time for them to ascend. Okay, so they want more. They want more from you, Aries, because they feel like you know they want a new start, they want a new beginning with you. This connection. We got pride and ego in union. Okay, so they feel like you could be very prideful. Like you're very, 
you know, you got a lot of pride in this connection. It could make them feel like they're the victim. Okay, so they're trying to grow from that. And they're going through blockages. See, they're very, they were very unawakened. Yeah, and they said, look, they're having regrets and they want to reinvent themselves with you. Okay, they'll reinvent themselves for you to be back in a connection with you. I do see that they there could have been um, a karmic partner because we got we got karmic partner and deception. Okay, so there could have been some third party stuff going on, but this person say, look, they'll close this chapter on this karmic to reinvent themselves just specifically for you, Aries. So they say, yeah, they're tired of going through blockages. They say shit ain't been good since. Since y'all ain't been on the same page, okay? Since y'all ain't been on the same page, things have not been going well for them. They've been getting blockages. They've been receiving karma. Their money ain't right. Just, this it's a, a lot of no's. They're hearing a lot of no, 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 no. And they're like, man, you know what? I need to do something. I need to ascend. I need to be better I need to be a better person i need to reinvent myself and i need to i need to get right with aries okay tell me more about how this person is viewing aries and how they feel about aries i just saw the fool so they want to take a leap of faith they want to make a game they want a new beginning with aries Yeah, they are in this nine of swords energy. So they can't even sleep at night. They could be having bad dreams. They're over here worrying. Five of swords, ace of cups. Yep. They are so all over the place. And they feel like they need to find their way back to you. They want to see you. They want to see you. They want to be around you. They want to feel your energy. They want to feel, they want to get this sun energy with you. Now, this is the most positive card in the deck. This talks about things being illuminated and brought to the light. And also, this is a very fun, lighthearted energy here. Now, like I said, they want to return to you with the Six of Cups. They want to return. They want to see you. I told you, Four of Cups and the Queen of Cups. They say things haven't been going well for them at all. I'm feeling, I'm. they feel guilty about something as well too. Especially with that Five of Swords and that, that Five of Swords and that Nine of Swords. They feel guilty about something. And I'm pretty sure it's possibly them dealing with a third party. Yeah, see, they're getting ready to go through some type of transformation with the Death card. Could be a Scorpio. Okay, they want this Ten of Cups with you. Yep, Justice here at the bottom of the deck. They have gone through some type of karmic cycle. Oh, the, the Five of Cups and the Justice. Yeah, they received some type of karma. And they want this Ten of Cups with you. They want this Ten of Cups. They want it bad. They're willing to make, to transform themselves. I'm talking about shape-shifting into the perfect person for the Aries. Okay, they've been spying on you. Yep, they've been spying on you from afar, from a distance. Look at this, the lovers. I'm telling you, could be a Gemini. But this person just like wants your attention so bad. I told you, they, they plan on taking some type of leap of faith towards you. They plan on taking some type of risk. Just to get you to talk. Just to get you to talk to them. Just to get you to open up to them. Yeah. This person is so, like, they they are stuck on you. They say, I know you're going to be surprised when I call, when I reach out to you, or be surprised at what I got to say. This person could be a king of pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, but this person could also be a very good provider, okay? Like, they're used to having their finances together. They could be coming in trying to woo you with gifts. 
Ooh. Okay. The lovers. When I tell you, there's the masculine. There he is right there. This masculine loves you. They thought you deserved better. They didn't they didn't thought you deserved better. Okay. And maybe you left or they left. We got the Eight of Cups and the Ten of Swords. But somebody loved to heal. Okay. Somebody needed to heal. And I'm getting deserved better. You deserve better. They didn't have the confidence enough to come back and apologize at the time. But they said they feel guilty for it now. They're coming around to give you your flowers, honey. They're coming to give you your flowers. This was a very straight to the point. This person is like straight to the point. They, it seemed like they already thought about this. They've already realized that they have messed up. They already realized that it's Aries that they want. All right? So, yes, I'm loving the vibes. Y'all got somebody that's like, I'll do it, baby. Please. Please, baby. Get them together, Aries. I know that. All right, y'all let me know what's going on in that comment section below. If you're interested in booking a personal, guys, check the comment section. I have my contact email pinned in the comment section below where we can talk, okay? All right, and I'm going to chat with y'all later. Ciao for now.